Okay, how we doing folks? Today is December 4th, 2016, giving you our weekly NBA report. In the Eastern Conference, the Cavaliers on a three-game losing streak still at the top, but they are now tied with, at the top with the Toronto Raptors, who are 14-6 to the Cavaliers, 13-5. Cavaliers have the better winning percentage. Toronto is plus 8.7 in their differential to Miami's plus 5.3. The Celtics have gotten their way to third at 12-8. They've won two straight. They had a bad loss to the Pistons. We'll get into them when we do the Celtics report. They're only plus eight-tenths of a point in their differential. Chicago 11-8. and eight. Milwaukee's starting to rise up. Winners of four straight. Now they are in fifth. Charlotte coming back down a little bit. Four and six in their last ten. New York Knicks, seven and three in their last ten. They are the seventh spot right now. Again, a little too early to start looking at the playoffs, but we are basically at the quarter point. A lot of these teams have played 20 games. Uh, Cavaliers at 18. So by the end of this week, we're really going to start to see things. We'll be around 22, 23 games for most teams. So that'll be past the quarter point. But the Knicks, hey, seventh spot. Regardless, they're starting to come along. I expect the Knicks to be in the playoffs. Detroit, 11-10, and 10, winners of three straight. Atlanta is starting to come back down like I thought they'd be. 1-9 in the last 10. Losers of six straight, currently in the ninth spot. Indiana, not really getting it together. Uh, the rest of the Eastern Conference, you look at it after teams like Indiana, Orlando, a team that's kind of, are they there, or are they not? They're four and six in their last ten, uh, eight and twelve. After that, they would be the eleventh spot. After that, it really starts to get murky. You have the Miami Heat, seven and thirteen. Washington, I thought they might have been making a move. They're now 6-12, and though. They've lost two straight. I'm really surprised with that team. You know, from where they were to starting to come down, they lost a tough one to the Spurs last night. Uh, they got another one against the Nets tonight. That may have been the other day. I, no, that was the other day they lost to the Spurs. But you look, John Wall putting up spe spectacular numbers again. 22.2 points, 9.7 assists I, I don't know what the deal is obviously some people are going to have to get moved come year's end if this continues then brooklyn 5 of 14 1 and 9 in the last 10 they've uh really started to show that they're that team giving up 114 points a night you know they got off to a decent start no one's even close to giving up 114 points except the phoenix suns in the western conference but we'll get into that later they're the only team portland is actually giving up 112 but is above 500, so uh, Portland got out to a pretty rocky start getting blown out by some teams, so that's where that comes in. Then you got the Philadelphia 76ers at 4-16. and 16. In the West, Golden State 17-3 and three through the first 20, very good. San Antonio 16-4. San Antonio is still 11-0 on the road. Uh, could this be a team that wins 35 road games? Let's keep an eye on that. It's still very early. Um, we know they have their rodeo road trip at some point. I expect those numbers to start to come down. But that's really surprising. 11-0 on the road. Clippers 16-5. They had a bit of a sputter there. They've now won two straight to kind of right themselves. They're still at plus 10.5 points. Golden State was at plus 12.7 points in their differential. Houston at 4th. 7-3 and three in their last 10. James Horden continues to put up the big numbers. 28.3 points, 11.8 assists per night. Uh, you know, Horden is a guy, his defense is a spot where he struggles. But his offense, clearly not a problem. And he's putting up 7.6 rebounds a night. Just under 45% shooting. So Horden getting the job done. Certainly that team... Really is like Oklahoma City doesn't have much outside of Horton. Uh, maybe the addition of subtraction by getting rid of Dwight Howard. Mike D'Antoni, though, as the head coach, it's not surprising that the guy's going to put up the numbers. Memphis, 7-3 and three in the last 10, able to win two straight. They're going to be without Mike Conley. I didn't do a flash alert, probably should have. They'll be without Mike Conley, the guy who's getting all that money now. And I love Mike Conley. Uh, I thought he was overpaid, but that sometimes happens in that case. Uh, let's see how they're going to be able to respond. They're a professional team. Like we said, they've won two straight. Memphis is one of those interesting teams. They have a lot of good players, a lot of good veteran players, but still, I just don't think enough to win a championship. Of course, at Oklahoma City, 12-7, and 7, Russell Westbrook continues to put up the numbers. 
31.1 points per night, 11 points to assist. He's gotten his rebounds now over uh, 10. He's at 10.5. He was at 9.9 last week. Again, not that late in the season, but at what are they? Eleven and seven, thirteen and seven, or eleven and eight? I just I don't remember what I just said. But with their record, they've played enough games where it's at the point you have to strongly consider he's gonna be able to put up those rebound numbers. His last three games, he's put up forty four rebounds. That's almost fifteen rebounds a night. Folks, <laughs> we're a point guard. So I mean, whatever you say, this guy can't do. He's probably gonna go and do it give him a lot of credit this year because we know he's left without much he's a fiery competitor came in and decided he's going to make things happen without Kevin Durant anymore and he's certainly doing that wow I mean that's all I can say yeah 12 and 8 so they're 20 games in he might do it folks Utah 12 and 9 plus 4.7 Portland 11 and 10 on the team I expected more from so you look the Western Conference is pretty good Eastern Conference is pretty good it should have all teams above 500 come playoff time Lakers 10 and 12 keep in pace give Luke Walton credit Sacramento then it really starts to fall off in the West 7 and 12 Denver 7 and 13 New Orleans 7 and 13 Minnesota continues to disappoint 6 and 14 Phoenix 6 and 14 Dallas 4 and 15. So in the West, things are really starting to shape it up. You got nine teams, and then maybe a Sacramento or a Denver, uh, and then everyone else in the East. You know, you have up to about ten with Indiana, kind of a swing at eleven on Orlando, and then everyone else at the top. But you know, about twenty games in, like we said, at the quarter point, this is what you're going to see. So the schedule's you know been played enough where things are starting to shape up in the form because it already is, you know, a quarter way through the year, so we'll have to see how things go coming in, you know, once you get past Christmas and the new year. So you still got a few weeks before that. Power rankings. Number one, Golden State, seventeen and three. They're cruising nine of one up to plus almost thirteen points a night. San Antonio number two, sixteen and four. Number three, I'm gonna go with the Toronto Raptors at fourteen and six since they've won six straight. Tied at the Western Conference. I had Toronto in the finals, by the way. Uh, number four, then the Los Angeles Clippers at 16 and 5. And then number five, the Cleveland Cavaliers, 13 and 5. All right, so we'll do in just a little bit the Celtics report for you all. They played a game last night, so I'll get that done once this is uploaded. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for the recaps of the games today for now, week 13 in the NFL season. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Sunday.